Yeah, so if she only has one, it's fresh enough. She looks fake. It looks like a toy. <laughs> you know, you're a giant child. So this is Bella. She is about five month old little beagle puppy who the owners had since um, two months ago or so. And since that time has always had nasal discharge. She's like been doing okay with antibiotics and it's been better, but it just has never gone away. And most recently the owner noticed that her face now is starting to look swollen and she's starting to get some ocular discharge as well. So she was in to get a CT today to take a look at her nasal cavity and it sort of looks like she's got like a very advanced infection that's actually involving all of the bony structures and the tissue as well. So. We're gonna go in, flush her out. We're gonna get a sample of tissue for a biopsy to make sure we're not dealing with anything more than an infection um, and also culture it so we can see what sort of bacteria we're dealing with and make sure that we get her um, on the appropriate antibiotics and she'll probably need to be on antibiotics for a pretty long time. Fern was like on for like two months or something, right? Something very extensive. Um, yeah, and I hope we'll, we'll give her some pain medications, too, and just try to get her feeling a little bit better soon. So this is her nose right here. You can tell that the left side is all clogged up. And you can tell that it just ate away at all of the bone that was in here. That is not supposed to look like that. So this is the CT of little Bella. And what we kind of talked about yesterday with nasal CTs is looking for symmetry. And from the very beginning, this is at the very tip of her nose and we're kind of moving back behind her head. You notice right away that that left nostril where all the discharge is coming from quickly becomes quite obstructed with material. Um, and that sort of carries true until we get into the full nasal cavity where you start to notice this sort of mass effect that's happening um, throughout the nasal cavity to the point that there's actual loss and destruction of some of the bones that are in there. So she had actual destruction of some of the bones in her nasal cavity. So this is pretty severe infection that we suspect is bacterial. We submitted it to find out exactly what kind of infection it is. In the meantime, we did send her home with some antibiotics and some pain medications to make her feel a little bit more comfortable. And then once we get the final report back, we will see if we need to adjust medication, which I suspect we'll have to do. I just don't want to put her on too many antibiotics without the culture, because I don't want to make any more resistance than we probably already have. Um, and then she'll probably have to stay on antibiotics probably for like a good six to eight weeks afterwards.